What's going on? Everybody. It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we do have a few more new Bow Nose players coming tomorrow. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, you know, I've been lacking on videos recently, but I've been feeling a little under the weather uh, the past, um, you know, couple days. So not this, you know, come up with any excuses, but I uh, haven't been feeling the greatest, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this one out to you guys. Uh, and I'm going to try my best, depending on how I feel in the morning, um, to get out of gameplay on one of the new Titans that are coming tomorrow. Um, spoiler, there are two. We'll get into them in a minute. But the reason I'm able, I'm going to be able to, you know, start recording a lot more. Um, I'm out of school now for uh, winter break, so that is good. So, you know, all, you know, Madden Ultimate Team stuff should be able to get, uh, you know, some gameplays out there. Obviously, no Titans theme team yesterday due to the fact that we had no upgrades again. I mean, we had Nick the Zumbar, but, um, I mean, he's a 78 overall, so, you know, really nothing. The past two weeks, we've gotten nothing, but this week, we're starting out, starting out pretty good. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the four new players coming tomorrow, um, and we do have a drop coming Wednesday uh, of part two of the Zero Chill promo. So, got some stuff to look forward to this week. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Ty Law, cornerback, he's a zone archetype, which is pretty good. Uh, he does have a 94 speed. He's going to be a little bit undersized. You know, Ty Law, not the biggest corner, uh, but at the same time, he plays very well in Madden. Uh, but he, he's got really good speed here. Powered up to 94 on a theme team. I'll let you guys know the theme teams too uh, as we go ahead and uh, move on through these. Uh, but yeah, Ty Law, 94 speed, 93 excel, 94 agility, 95 jumping, 91 play rec, 94 man, 94 zone, and 95 press. Again, all around a really good corner. Has a couple of team cams as well. Not only the Patriots, he's also going to be getting the Broncos, Jets, and the Chiefs. So those are the three other team cams that he does go ahead and get on top of the New England Patriots. But yeah, Ty Law, so I'm go ahead and get the Patriots, Broncos, Jets, and the Chiefs so pretty cool stuff there again really really good looking card here's our first Titan that we see um, that's gonna be coming tomorrow as well 95 strength is Kevin Mawai by the way 95 overall you guys notice the overall do, uh, overalls do increase on these we did see the overall increasion um, increase I don't even know if that's a word overall increase um, last Saturday with the legends or I should say yesterday with the legends uh so that will carry on into this week uh so they're gonna bump the overall up plus one you guys probably noticed that already but 95 overall kevin mawai obviously he's been a well-known name in madden for a long time um and we'll have to see what we want to do here uh because we do already have bruce matthews but this is a very big upgrade over bruce uh bruce matthews but i might want to see if i want to you know put one of them out of position somewhere else but really Maybe I move Kevin Mawai to left tackle. See how high of an overall, high of an overall he is. Uh, but you know, maybe we just start him at center and just leave everyone else the same. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing because really we're pretty pretty solid across the board at the line. But who knows? I might want to you know move Kevin Mawai to left tackle over Lawan. Uh, but we'll have to see about that tomorrow. But let's check out his stats: 95 strength, 94 awareness, 95 pass block with 95 pass block power. 94 pass block finesse, 95 run block, 95 run block power, and 94 run block finesse across the board all around. Can pass block for you, can run block for you. Um, and, you know, Kevin Y has always been, uh, you know, a really, really good offensive lineman in Madden year in and year out. And we've seen him the past three years now, I believe, maybe even four. We've seen him in 20, 22, 21, 20, and 19. So that is four years. So we've seen him the past four years now. Um, I can't remember if we saw him in 18. We might have, we might have had him for five straight years. I don't know, but I don't know that he was in the game in 19. He came out during the, you know, came out one of those uh, during the like zero chill promo. He's one of the four legends where you could upgrade him through that. And then 20 he came out um, as was it? I think it was a 50 card um, or NFL 100, I think. And then. 21 he came out as a 50 card and this year we're getting him as a bow nose player so pretty cool stuff there let's move on to the next guy and that is going to be cliff branch we're all, always going to have to have a writer in here it just is, is is bound to happen uh but he is a wide receiver slot archetype eh, archetype but at the same time 
uh, it, it'll be okay because he's got really good speed. 94 speed, 90 jumping, 94 catching, 94 catching traffic, 94, uh, excuse me, 91 spectacular catch with 91 short route running, 95 medium route running, and 95 deep route running. Really, really good route running stats on this Cliff Branch. Um, and I think he's going to play really well. Uh, you know, when you got when you see a guy with high speed and really good route running stats, I do want to look up his height really quick. Uh, but as I do that, I don't believe I mentioned the Team Kims for Kevin Y. He does get a couple more uh, on top of the Jets. Obviously, the Titans and also the Seattle Seahawks are is the other Kims he's going to get. So um, cool to see Kevin Y. But you know, I'd love to see. Um, he is going to get some card art. So that is another good thing, uh, too, because I think these Bo Nose players are going to be getting uh, alternate card art for the Zero Chill promo. So there's probably going to be a little bit, you know, some, some cooler card arts with these as well. Um, so, yeah, Cliff Branch, only going to get the Raiders chemistry. Uh, but I want to look up his height really quick and see what he's working with. Um... Because if he's in, like above six foot, it'd be nice. Five eleven. So that's what I was thinking. I, as a slot guy, not expecting him to be, you know, six one, six two. Uh, but five eleven is still um, pretty decent, in my opinion. I, I thought he might be like five nine, five ten, but five eleven is pretty good with that type of speed and that route running on him. So that is pretty nice there, Cliff Branch. And then our final guy, another Tennessee Titan, uh, or you can say Houston Oiler, Wilbur Marshall. Uh, he's in a Washington, a Redskin uniform, but for football guy football team um, and he does get a few team Kims uh, as well he's gonna go ahead and get uh, we'll go over his stats real quick Wilbur Marshall 95 overall run stopping out, uh, right outside linebacker with 91 speed 91 excel so it's gonna be nice pairing him up with Landry uh, that's gonna be real fun to uh, you know play with both of them 87 strength 91 tackling 91 play right 94 block shed 92 power move and 82 finesse move so um, more of a run stopper Obviously, with the archetype there, he's a run stopper. Low on the finesse move, but again, with that high block shed, it's going to be really, really nice to pair with a finesse guy like Landry on the other side. So, really, really good stuff here. Um, he does go ahead and get on top of the football team, Team Kim. He does go ahead and get the Bears, the Jets, Cardinals, and the Titans. So, those are the four Team Kims he's going to get. But look at the Jets, man. The Jets, they get Wilbur Marshall... They don't get Cliff Branch, but they, they, they get Kevin Mawai and also Ty Law. So they're getting 395 overalls tomorrow. Uh, you know, that's pretty cool stuff for the Jets. Uh, but you got a lot of teams here. They got some upgrades. You know, the, the Broncos, Jets, and uh, Chiefs here for Ty Law on top of the Patriots. And you got Wilbur Marshall, who got five team cams too. So, you know, a lot. Of, I like this a lot. The Bo Nose promo, obviously, is pretty much like the 50 in, in NFL 100 from a couple years ago. Um, you know, just some, some more legends they can bring into the game other than just the weekly weekend legends we get. Uh, so I think this is awesome to kind of hold us over until we get the Team of the Week stuff and the Wild Card Wednesday stuff and the LCD stuff after Christmas. Um, and I'm really enjoying, um, you know, currently, you know, we do have zero chill in the game. Not any Titans just yet, but I like what I'm seeing so far. I've, I've seen that present that the Titans... Uh, the logo, the Titans logo is on that present. It's like Jolly XL, uh, and that could be a lot of different players. You know, a lot of people are saying Derrick Henry, um, but I'm personally thinking, I'm thinking Earl Campbell, guys. Earl Campbell, I think he would be a really, really cool card to see back in the game. We know that we we have, you know, they have his rights because he's in Superstar KO for Texas. Um, you know, when they did the college teams, he was in there for Texas. So we know they have his rights. I think that'd be pretty cool to bring him back in the game. Maybe we see if they if that, they bring back CJ 2K, that would be awesome. They somehow, you know, figure out how to get handle that situation and bring him back in the game. That would be super awesome. But, you know, who knows where that situation is right now. Um, but it's got to be somewhat of a big name. You know what I'm saying? Because they wouldn't bring out, um, you know, a present with a Titans logo on it and it'd be like, you know... Like a, I don't, you know, tight. It could be Steve McNair, um, but you know, Steve McNair, a big enough name to be like one of the big presents for Christmas. You know, you might, you know, obviously for, as a Titans uh, fan, it, he's definitely a big enough name. But you know, um, from anyone, you know, you know, 
you know, you normally see like the big names like Bo Jackson, who's always in the game. You know, McNair hadn't been in the game for four years before last year. So, you know, is McNair a big enough name? I don't know, but we might see him. Who knows? But I'm thinking Earl Campbell. Um, you know, I think he's a legendary. Um, he's a big enough legend to, to be in there. Um, you know, it could be Derrick Henry, too. Um, who knows? Could be A.J. Brown. Could be Julio. We got Julio last year in the Christmas promo. I don't think we'll see him again. Um, or is that in the Easter? That might have been Easter. I think that was like Easter egg where he, we saw him, but I don't know. Again, I'm going to go ahead and say Earl Campbell. Even though it's the Titans logo, not the Oilers logo, I still think it would make sense for him to be in there since they're, we're the Titans now. Um, but who knows? It could be McNair. It could be Curse. It could be uh, Eddie George. Um, some of those guys maybe. Uh, but I'm thinking more of a legend than, you know, it could be It could be Henry though. could be AJ Brown. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I might make a separate video, uh, and y'all comment down below what y'all think it is, who y'all think it is. But, yeah, I barely made it through this video. I might have to sneeze. might have to blow my nose, but uh, I made it through. So, yeah, with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.